Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Sunday afternoon and today, as you know, I have been crocheting the beanie. I have also been catching up with stuff I missed. And so this evening or this afternoon, we are talking cash, cards or problems with them. <laughs> now, if you're in the UK, you may have tried to go shopping in Sainsbury's, Tesco, Argos yesterday. And seemingly due to a technical issue, their chip and pin wasn't working. Now, how that means they can't do online deliveries, I do not know. But seemingly that stopped online deliveries. Um, also stopped people paying with like Apple Pay, Google Pay. Uh, contactless, you could pay sometimes with chip and pin and you could pay with cash. So there was an awful lot of people, as you can imagine, on a Saturday who had gone shopping and were unable to pay for their items. So what's the first thing you do? You go to the cash machine. So how long do you think it took until the cash machines were empty? Not very long. Further down the article that I read, turns out it was a software update. And that got me to thinking. Now, if you've been here for a while, you'll know that Patrick, my other half, is an electrician. And I work in the construction industry. And through stories that Patrick's told me and jobs that he's been on and through jobs that's happened in my work, I know for a fact that there are a lot of properties who have sockets and plugs like mine that look perfectly normal, perfectly up to date until you take them off the wall. And then you find out that the wiring is 40 years old. Now in some places, this is what your technology is running through. And that's only the hardware. That's only your original electricity. When you then get to the software, what you find in a lot of situations is that the original software is there and then it gets updated. Now, how many updates do you think it takes until there's a problem? How many additions to this programming do you think it takes until there's a problem? And the general consensus is that the more something's updated, the more problems there can be. So you imagine a system where the wiring's old, the program's old, doesn't take much for it to go kerblooey. And that is seemingly what happened yesterday. A software update had happened, it obviously hadn't been properly tested or checked or whatever, something had gone wrong with it, which nobody had predicted and it hit the systems and they just all went, oh no, no happen. So many, many people were left without their shopping. Now that's one story, is the system went kerblooey. The other story is... What happened to all these people who were trying to get the shopping? People who had online deliveries to go to their parents, to go to people that they cared for. What happened to them? Seemingly you could start ordering again from today. That doesn't help if they're running out of food yesterday. That doesn't help if someone's coming back from hospital and you've ordered the food for them so it's there when they come back and all of a sudden it doesn't arrive and it's not arriving later that day, no. You can order it again tomorrow. That is not good. What about the people who are working and maybe helping out family members or friends by getting their shopping while they're out on the Saturday and they've got someone's card? Because although that's not supposed to happen, it happens a lot. This person's now not got shopping. Now, for me, and for many of you, that's not too big a deal. For many people, 
in this cost of living crisis who are living hand to mouth, that is a huge deal. If they're in their shopping day, a lot of the time they don't have anything left. Or if they do, it's very, very little. And all this because of a computer glitch. Because of a software update that wasn't tested properly. I think I'll be carrying more cash nowadays. I think I will be carrying more cash an awful lot of the time. And doing as much as I possibly can with cash. Because, best of all in the world, I'm a bit of a control freak. Really don't like it if someone tells me I can't do something. And this, someone being able to tell me when I can and can't pay, when I can and can't use my card, I don't like that at all. Cash, take my cash. If the shop doesn't take cash, I won't be shopping there. So yes, it seems there was a whole lot of jiggery-pokery going on yesterday with systems in the UK for Sainsbury's, Argos and Tesco. So I hope anyone who's affected has got it sorted. I also hope you have the equivalent of my little red book of resilience, which I have just received from Amazon. I put that together myself. According to Kathleen, there's some printing errors. I didn't line things up properly. It's not templates, it was me. And I fully intend filling that in so that if a system goes down, I have information on paper. Telephone numbers, bank account numbers, insurance policy numbers, you name it, I have got a page for it. So yeah, that is my story for today. I am going to go and have a cup of tea, let the cat in, because I can hear her. And I will see you on the live at half past eight tonight. Catch you later.